It was an ancient place, a single piece of ground on the banks of the Mississippi River. The first people called it Miniara, curling water. The next people called it the Falls of St. Anthony. They straightened the curling water and crossed the river here. It would be a camping ground, a village, a great city, a slum, a ruin, a parking lot, a single piece of ground called Gateway. Gateway across the river, linking the east to the Great Plains and the forests of the north. Jobs, land, wealth. Immigrants, pioneers, workers, realtors, builders, entrepreneurs, tycoons. They would build the greatest skyscraper in the West, the Metropolitan Building. They would salvage its famous ironwork to decorate restaurants and office towers. They would build monuments and landmarks. They would reduce them to rubble. Minneapolis would rise on these banks. The gateway would fall beneath it. They would build a Greek revival temple opening its arms to travelers, visitors, tourists. It would become known as the Piss House. The hiring hall for the whole Midwest, migrants arriving at Gateway and then moving on to wheat fields, lumber camps, railroads, factories. After the Depression and two wars won, they would no longer be useful. They will watch as their neighborhood is torn down they will be relocated. Flop houses and cheap hotels, bars, and missions. The wet district in a very dry town.
renewal, to restore, to make new again, to return to existence. They will tear down one third of downtown Minneapolis, 26 square blocks. 3,000 residents will be removed. They plan ambitious development projects. Most will never be built. The Metropolitan Building is demolished for the Ritz Sheraton Executive Hotel. It will last just 17 years and be demolished. Travelers in time inhabit the same piece of ground, leaving a trace, a photograph, a memory, or nothing at all, passing through gateway searching for renewal. <laughs> 